What is going on, guys? So what I wanted to talk a little bit about today is motivation and how to keep it. Now, the two things I want to talk a little bit about today are fitness and reading. Um, Just because A, they're quite opposite, and B, I found them both to benefit me quite well. They're both things that I find have helped out my mental health immensely. Um, So I'm just gonna jump right into it. The reason I use fitness is because it's something I'm quite passionate about. It's always been a good way for me to kind of deal with my issues or my emotions because it's always something that's measurable. So I do find it good that way. You can always see progress. It's it's easy to see that you are progressing in it. Um, I also find it important because it's difficult. It's not something that we, we really want to do all the time. Uh, there is some people that are like that. I'm not one of them. I I don't particularly always love to work out. That's part of why it's so important. It's something that I find to be necessary, but it's not always something that you want to do. It's a pretty good example of when you would need motivation in your life to do something. And it's a constant battle of your brain and your body kind of duking it out almost, where your brain is telling yourself, you know, you can't continue to do something and your body will push through and, and do it. And then you can kind of see that a lot of your own limitations are mental, they're made up and they're imposed by yourself. And if you kind of stop telling yourself you can't do things, there's a lot more that you can do, which is pretty cool because you can always see yourself progressing and you can always see growth as well. So that's that's pretty awesome and it's something that's helped me build a lot of confidence. And I think that seeing that progression in myself in fitness has been able to kind of allow me to start to apply that to the rest of my life. Things that I didn't think I was able to do or things that I just generally didn't like doing so I avoided them. It's helped me build a lot of discipline and accountability for myself. Now this can be said for reading, this can be said for journaling, this can be said for eating healthy, this can be said for pretty much any good habit. Um, Essentially, good habits are healthy for us, they're good for us but we don't necessarily always want to do them. Now reading is really good um, because obviously you're learning a lot more, you're learning new perspectives, new opinions, you're just learning about different topics, but at the end of the day, the reason I find it so rewarding is because it's challenging for me, it's difficult. Those two things are pretty important to me and I think that they are something that are gonna help out a lot of people on a broad spectrum. And I just kind of wanted to talk about the ways that I keep my motivation to continue to do these things on a regular basis and how you might be able to do the exact same or even apply this to other aspects of your life. It doesn't even have to be fitness or reading. You're going to get motivation when you first start off and that's what gets you the idea in the first place. But what's going to continue to keep you going is discipline and accountability, which are pretty hard to develop, especially in myself. The idea of wanting to stay motivated so that you continue to do these healthy things is pretty popular. And it's something that we all struggle with because it is hard to keep motivation going. It does dwindle down and it's a lot harder to continue doing something even though you know it's right uh, when you lose that motivation. The best way to stay motivated to do pretty much anything is going to be break it down to a step-by-step process, something that's stupid easy, like ridiculously easy. One trick I use for myself, literally break it down to a ridiculously small task for yourself. So instead of thinking, oh, I have to go to the gym today for an hour, uh, and I should probably do some warm up, so maybe that'll be five more minutes, and I should probably stretch after, so maybe that'll be another like 15, 20 minutes, so I'm really talking myself into about an hour and a half at the gym, and that can kind of start to seem daunting, or you can start to come up with the excuses of, hey, I don't have the time today, or I might need the rest today, I can't push myself, or I went really hard yesterday and I need to recover, And so there's a lot of reasons to not go, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna regret going and doing something that's good for you. 
and you don't have to kill yourself in the gym every day either you just have to show up and do something now the way i kind of trick myself into staying motivated is to just break it down before i even leave my room what i'll usually do to help me visualize a little bit better of what i'm actually going to be doing is i'm a youtube guy i'll jump on youtube and i'll watch some videos of dudes working out in the gym or people talking about why it's important i'll try and start to get my brain just going and, and, and starting to think about these things the next Next thing I do is I'll put on my gym clothes and like literally in my room I'll be sitting there lacing up my shoes by the time I have all my gym clothes on and I've been watching videos or listening to people talk about working out I'm in the mood at least to show up once I get there it's a little bit daunting because when I'm in a poor mood or I'm in a bad mood I don't really even want to see people or talk to people especially if I know them I don't want to have that forced talk or situation so what I, I typically do is just leave headphones in even if I don't have anything playing I'll leave headphones in. People don't generally talk to you. They might wave to you, they might smile at you, but in a social situation, if you are struggling, just leave your headphones in, man. Nobody's gonna, like, very rarely people are going to ask you, hey, take your headphones out. And at the gym, you have a pretty viable excuse. You're like, hey, I'm, I'm just working out right now, man. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Just getting the headphones on and getting into the gym seems for me to be the hardest part. Once I get in there, I typically like weightlifting, but what I'll start off with is just get on a bike or a treadmill and just start moving for about two to five minutes. And once I start getting sweaty, which happens really quick for me, I feel a little bit more motivated to start doing the things that A, like doing, and B, are the things that I find drive me the most, which is typically weightlifting. But after I've, I've worked up a sweat, I feel a little bit better and I'll start doing some weightlifting. Once I start weightlifting, I'll start with very basic exercises with really, really light weights. So it's not a physical strain on my body, it's just doing the movements. Then I can start adding on a little bit more weight and challenging myself. Typically, after I've left the gym, I have never regretted a workout. So another example is reading. I have a really tough time reading. I can't sit still for very long. I can't focus on things for very long. And to be 100% honest, my reading level is not that high. I'm not that good of a reader. Obviously, one solution is I listen to audio books. I listen to a lot of podcasts because I can kind of multitask and stimulate myself enough that I can focus, which is kind of weird to say, but usually I can focus better if my hands are doing something or my, my body's doing something and then I'm just listening and in, ingesting all the information. With reading, what I try and do is have something to fiddle with so I'm not sitting still or it doesn't feel like I'm sitting still. I'll spin a pen on my finger or I'll just play with something while I try and read. And uh, exact same thing with fitness uh, when I'm trying to do some reading. What I'll do is I'll start off by telling myself, hey, I'm just gonna read a couple of sentences. If I can read a couple of sentences, at least I can gain something out of it. Usually by the time I've read a couple of sentences, I wanna challenge myself, I'll read a whole page today. After you've read a whole page, if you found a good book that you're actually interested in, it's gonna almost be hard to stop. After I've read, especially because I hate reading so much and it's super uncomfortable for me. I usually feel pretty proud of myself just because I did something that I knew was difficult. And at the end of the day, reading and gaining new perspectives is always gonna be a good thing for you. So in those two examples, you can kind of see how just breaking it down into little step-by-step -step ways of thinking about it are gonna be easier to do then hey I have to read a whole chapter today or hey I have to go and do an hour and a half workout it's a lot easier to convince yourself to read a page or just show up and bike for five minutes and then once you start doing those things the motivation itself will pick up I really hope this helps you guys out with gaining a little bit more motivation or keeping a little bit more motivation for some of the things that you're doing this can be applied to any aspect of your life whether it's having a tough conversation with somebody you love you you can convince yourself, hey, I'm just gonna bring up the things that upset me today. Or going out to get a job, you can tell yourself, hey, I'm just gonna write my resume. I really hope this helps people out uh, in either gaining motivation to do something that you know you have to do, or keeping motivation on something that you're already doing. Really, I just hope this helps you guys out. So if you have any ideas of any hobbies uh, or anything that can really help people out, definitely comment them or, or let people know, let me know. If you have any other tactics on how to gain motivation or keep motivation, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, go out there and kill it. Like find something that you wanna do, uh, something that's gonna help you progress in your life and your confidence and your self-esteem. Find some shred of motivation and just take the first 
first step. That's gonna be the best way to get it. Go out and enjoy your day.